Hello my friends, Mike here with Mike's Wilderness and uh, I am down in the wetlands portion of the Minneapolis State Park on this uh, 30th of, or 29th of March and uh, got a beautiful little footbridge here and the uh, park managers are out doing some clearing at the other end of this small pond and you can hear their weed whackers just touching the surface of the water <laughs> making a little bit of noise but uh, yeah this is a beautiful part of the, the wetlands we got some rain last night and so uh, in fact it's threatening to rain right now but it's always fun to get over here and see what's going on sometimes there's some ducks of paddling around here. I don't hear anything in the red-winged blackbirds. So, alrighty, that should about do it. Just wanted to give you an introduction to my hike today. Catch you in a little bit. Well, my friends, uh, one of the things that we have a lot of in the park here is this flowering plant called bergamot. And uh, you can take these uh, the remainders of these blossoms, crush them up and make a very fine tea out of it and it tastes pretty good. I'm very tempted to get some today and uh, maybe make up a hot cup of tea a little later but had to slow down long enough to show you sometimes some of the really nice things about getting out in nature is finding the resources that can give you a nice uh, moment to share with your with a friend bergamot tea from these blossoms. All right, I'm gonna keep moving. Hello my friends, I hope you can hear me above the, the noise of the wind here, but uh, I'm always amazed at the geology that I discover in this park. These limestone layers that are eroding and breaking away, coming down into this small ravine and finding its way, a small stream and everything down to the Minnesota River, and if you come up here towards the top, you can see where there's kind of a step and a rock, and uh, there used to be a stream from a small pond over here that years ago ran down to the river through this small uh, ridge line valley or whatever. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, I'm always quite amazed at the geology around here. Not sure if I can see the pond from here or not, but I know it's over there a little short ways. And there were Native American villages along this site as well. So they may have found their way to this small uh, spring and uh, all the water that runs down to the river. Anyway, I hope that's not too long, but just had to point it out that uh, it's an interesting geology here. Here we have a eastern red cedar that is just really ripe for the harvesting of some uh, cedar bark to use for tinder. I know some of you, my friendly bushcrafters, <laughs> will be totally amazed and want to be here and peel it off. But, uh, not making any fires today, so don't need it. We'll leave it for another time. I'm going to keep my voice down for a little bit. We've got less wind. But in looking down the trail here, I just saw a deer cross into the woods over there. I'm going to keep my eyes open for him in case he pops up later. But uh, I wanted to share with you another obvious landmark here in the park, and that is this very large eastern red cedar. I mean, that has got some character to it. My goodness, um, yeah, I can't see much of the top there because the sun is kind of changing my exposure, but uh, it is one of the largest uh, eastern red cedars in the park. And it uh, looks like you could almost throw some uh, leaves and branches and stuff on this lower portion and build a shelter under that tree. Uh, but anyway, all right, 
We just want to keep traveling here. Catch you later. Now let's give this a try. Um, this is a map of the park. And uh, there's kind of the scale. So it's a couple of inches. It's about half a mile. And we started out right about there in the parking lot. And we've gone out all this trail to here. So we're probably about uh, two miles, two and a half miles out right now. And I'm going to proceed down the trail this direction. So I'm about right in there. There's a lookout that I want to get to and uh, share the view from there and maybe stop for a break. And I haven't been there in a long time, so it should be kind of fun. All right, there you go. Lots of horses whose fungus amidst some of this <laughs> geology. The way all this stuff kind of breaks up. It's quite amazing. I will show you a little interesting glacial, uh, glacial erratic in just a few moments, but uh, just had to show you this resource here. Haven't been out here in a really long time to this portion of the park. And I was kind of curious to see if this glacial erratic was still here. People have tried for many years to leverage it with logs and sticks and rocks as wedges to push it over the edge. But it's still up here on the ridge line, so that's a good thing. Anyway, just had to share that a little bit. Not sure if you can see him out there. But I just walked into Bison Herd. Uh, those brown humps out there. Scan over this way a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in a little. There you can kind of see them a little bit better. Not often that you do see them when you're hiking out here, but uh, it's a pretty uh, sparse day. There's very few people in the park, and it's good to see that they're finding new areas to graze. Anyway, thought I would share that with you. Let's keep going. And yes, they do get right up to the fence sometime. <laughs> Well, here we are at the lookout, and if you can find it, it's just not a bad place to stop for a break. I've done many a lunch from this perch, <laughs> because it actually has kind of a bench, <laughs> albeit natural. And uh, yeah, you can lean up and get comfortable, and then look down over the valley, the streams leading to the river. If you look back over some of my other videos on my YouTube channel here, you've probably seen me uh, put this uh, particular situation, this view, in some of my other videos. Uh, 
can't remember which one, but I like coming back here. It's been a long time. Okay. Well, it's a very nice look out here, and I've had a nice time just sitting here doing some whittling, and uh, I thought while I was doing that, I would give you all an update on the crochet hook. <laughs> Whoa, sorry for that. Um, let me start over here with the other hand. So I thought I'd give you an update about the crochet hook. And uh, here it is, coming along nicely. I've thinned it down a little bit, trying to discover that uh, line of the heartwood there that will be the, the shaft of the crochet hook when I'm done. Um, it's in there someplace, and uh, I think it'll turn out really gorgeous when I'm done. It's got some beautiful color, and you know, whittling or carving of any sort is like trying to find the sculpture within the rock. You have to cut away everything that isn't crochet hook. <laughs> and what's left behind is a tool that you can use to chain stitch together some fiber and, and make some material out of it. So anyway, using that uh, trusty Swiss Army knife, it is the uh, Woodsman's model, I believe. So I've got a saw and a scissors and a couple of other items, but it's a great whittler. And uh, getting some beautiful curls. I must say that uh, carving in eastern red cedar is, uh, I always enjoy doing some carving and whittling in eastern red cedar. The grain is just absolutely amazing, and you can get some really nice fine woodwork out of it. And that's the reason I like making cro crochet hooks out of it. So, all right, just had to bring you up to speed. Going to start packing up here and hiking back, but uh, that's it for now. Well, here's a new park bench. <laughs> I've just discovered it. I know it's been here probably for a while, but I've got a cable on it so it can't be moved around too very much. And uh, this is sponsored by the Friends of Miniopa State Park. Let's see if you can read that or not. Did I get it just right? Anyway, I'm going to try it out, and then I'm going to head back. It's been a beautiful day, but the bench here allows you to look down into this valley and through the trees, and it's a very beautiful view, even in the summer. It, it'll be nice to come here and just listen to the birds. Going to have to make it back here again. Okay, bye. Well, my friends, that about wraps it up. This is the sign on the uh, barriers that are keeping people from going into the campground. And uh, it was a busy day towards the end here. I met a lot of people, talked to a lot of individuals who are working to cope with the situation. Uh, more on that in, a, in another video in the future. But uh, anyway, just wanted to let you know. Take care.